Okay, welcome to part three of the blood vessels. We're gonna do the blood vessels in the um, thoracic and abdominal pelvic cavities. And then part four, we'll do the legs. So we already know that the ascending aorta comes up, then we have the aortic arch, and then the descending aorta begins, right? And the descending thoracic aorta goes behind the heart. And then below the diaphragm, down here, this large vessel that we see is showing us the descending abdominal aorta. When we look at the descending abdominal aorta, it V's, right, or splits, and this and this are showing you the common iliac arteries. So the right common iliac and the left common iliac. Just like the common carotids, we had a common carotid and then it split into an external and internal. Um, with the iliac, we see the same thing. So these are the common iliacs. And then right here, they split. The external iliac goes out and passes through the abdominal wall into the leg. The internal iliac is this one that goes deeper within the pelvis. So internal iliac, external iliac. Um, let me show you those on this other model really quick, this big one, and then we'll look at the circulation to the vessel, I mean to the organs. So this is nice and big, right? This is where the heart sits, right here. So this is showing you the aorta, right? It connects to the heart right here and then it comes up and curves around and goes down. So this is behind the heart. This is showing you the descending thoracic aorta. Then it goes through this big diaphragm, the big muscle, and then here you see the rest of the descending aorta. This large vessel is the descending abdominal aorta. So descending thoracic aorta, descending abdominal aorta. The aorta V's and right here and right here, you see the common iliac arteries. So the left and right common iliac arteries. Right here, you can see where the common iliac splits and the external iliac goes out, the internal iliac goes in. Again, you've got one on the left, one on the right. So this is the left external iliac artery. This one that goes in is the left internal iliac artery. The iliac artery passes through the abdominal wall and here in the leg, it becomes the femoral artery, which we'll look at in the next video. So when we look here, when we look here at this um, abdominal aorta, we see that there are a bunch of little, um, like a bunch of little branches that come off of it to go to all of the abdominal organs. So we see some of them on this right here. When we look at this, right underneath the diaphragm, this first nub that you see right here, this is called the celiac trunk. It actually has multiple branches that go out to like the liver and the stomach um, and the spleen, but just the nub, just the first section is the celiac trunk. This next one that you see right down here, this is the very beginning of the superior mesenteric artery. The mesentery is um, like the membrane that goes all throughout your intestines or surrounds your intestines. So the superior mesenteric artery goes to the superior parts of the intestines. This next little nub that kind of comes off to the left over here, this is the inferior mesenteric artery. It goes down to the last parts of the intestine and the colon. So that's what these three nubs are. There's not a left and right for these. There's only one. So you have the celiac trunk, the superior mesenteric artery, and the inferior mesenteric artery. Um, on here, these are the kidneys. So this and this, these are showing you the kidneys. Um, they're on either side of your lower back, but we've got arteries that go to them. So the red vessels that are going to the kidneys are the renal arteries. So the right renal artery and the left renal artery. These tiny little threads, these itty bitty thin little vessels that you see going down on either side, those are called gonadal arteries because they go to the gonads. Um, this happens to be a man um, or a male. So these are specifically testicular. If it were a female, they would be ovarian or in general, you can say gonadal. So like this is the right gonadal artery 
This little throat over here is the left gonadal artery or testicular because this guy has testicles. If we look at this, let's see if I can get it closer. If we look at this, um, again, this is the descending abdominal aorta. This first little thing right here is the celiac trunk. The celiac trunk has branches. So just the center is the celiac trunk. But then the part that goes up is the left gastric artery. The stomach actually sits right here. So the left gastric artery wraps around the stomach. The splenic artery comes over here. This is the spleen. So this red vessel coming over here is the splenic artery. This red vessel that comes over here to the liver is the hepatic artery. This is the liver. So that's hepatic artery. Um, this next, so this was the nub was the celiac trunk. This next nub right here that's cut was the superior mesenteric artery. And this little one going down to the left is, oops, I'm so sorry. This was the superior mesenteric. And then this little nub that's going down to the left is the inferior mesenteric artery. These little tiny threads that you have on both sides, those are the gonadal arteries. And these ones that are going to the kidneys are the renal arteries. Don't get confused on this model. There's red vessels, there's blue vessels, and there's these purple vessels. The purple ones are part of hepatic portal circulation. And we're going to talk about those completely separately because that's a really weird type of circulation.